Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience and today we're in Salem where we're going to see Barney Rook and do his quest, Gun Run. And if we do it successfully we will be receiving Reba 2, a rifle designed to be more effective against Milux. Right, let's get right into it. We're going to find a place to hold up and see how this plays out. Right there, this place looks like a reasonable place to hold up. I think we're going there. It's been a while since I've been here. I know the basic layout of the uh, area, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Okay, so the first part of the quest has been initiated. We have to kill three Mylurks. So that's the voice of Barney Rook, he's over there on the top of that house. Okay, so uh, this is one of Barney's guns, this is part of the quest. There are the Milurks running away, three of them. There's one standing and two running. There's Barney. There's some oil alerts. Right, let's begin the attack. <laughs> Take that. Now, there are a number of cars to be um, moved or destroyed, uh, and I will go into that in a minute. Woo! Gotcha, didn't I? <laughs> Take that! Yes, the Mylurks will destroy the guns if you initiate them in the wrong order. It's going to take a lot more than some big fish to scare me! Okay, so we can't lure the uh, Mylurk up here, with, uh, so we'll have to go down there, I think. You picked the wrong day to tick me off. Now, about the car I mentioned earlier, the red one isn't really a problem. It's the white one it's a problem. It's situated directly in front of the yeah. gun and if the gun fires at a mile up, the car will blow up and so will the gun so we have to move that I ain't running out of ammo anytime soon crabby there are a great deal of mile in this area uh, about 20 <laughs> Take that. and there's also the mile up hunters the acid spitters I don't know if there's any mile queens stop right Take there that. Take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. I ain't running out of ammo anytime soon, Krabby. You picked the wrong day to kick me off. <laughs> Take that. Stop right there. Just do what yeah, I, I mean, when you uh, whisper a creature, you've got to come give it a command straight away, otherwise your companion will kill it. Kill. It's gonna 
would take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. It's gonna take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. You picked the wrong day to tip me off. Hey. Woo! Gotcha, didn't I? See if he had anything worth taking. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Are you crazy? Get out of the street before any more of them catch wind of you. Look, I'll open the gate and you get in here quick. I'm gonna let you in the bunker. Don't make me regret this. Okay, so that's part one of the quest completed. Uh, we're gonna meet Barney in the bunker and move on to part two. Now I brought Preston with me particularly because at one point I did manage to get to talk to Barney about uh, the Minutemen. Think there's anything valuable in all of this junk? Lady, did someone drop you on your head as a baby? Or did you have to work to get this stupid? That's not the response I got last time. I must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Go, go play dumb. What the hell were those things? What, you've never seen a Mirelurk before? You must have lived a charmed life up until now. Mirelurks are disgusting creatures that live near the water. Some of them look like walking fishmen, others like big butt-ugly lobsters. The ones outside, the crabby-looking ones, those SOBs are hard to kill on account of the armor you saw. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Yeah, I should have gone the other way around. Um, yeah. Who's... who's Reba? Are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Oh! Where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant at arms, and scribes for all official meetings. This here is Reba. But you two already met when she saved your life. Is there a possibility that because Preston's wearing a suit that you don't see that he's a Minuteman? You two have got your work cut out for you. It was a lot easier when it wasn't just the two of us. The SVM remains vigilant, despite overwhelming odds against us. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives, but we've got some work to do. And by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Mire Lurks had been mostly quiet, and those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things had been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. Okay, so that's part two of the quest initiated. Uh, I should have asked for a reward, but there you go. Sounds good. Of course it sounds good. I'm a tactical genius. Smartest man in town, as a matter of fact. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Oh, they are. By all means, they are. Yes, they will. we'll be finding multiple um, legendaries, glowing mire lurks, and everything. Um, My mission is to go around and clear the area of all the Mirelurks before initiating the, the turrets. So that's the mission. Sounds like we've got company. Uh, Mirelurks don't normally shoot guns.
thought I missed the mining. I know it's got a blowing up.
Yeah, so that was what I was shooting earlier. start turning the guns on, the turrets, more mild oaks will come. So it's essential that this car is out of the way. So this is gun one. This is the first gun you want to turn on. thinks they're going to be other raiders coming in. No, it's possible. Whoa, yeah, look at that. I knew they'd be over there. So the more lurks gather around the guns, as you can see there are two gun emplacements there uh, with everything on little bombs around it and everything. So they will try to destroy the guns and if they destroy the guns it's mission failure.
Now about this fat man here, the fat man is part of uh, Barney's defense system. Now in the previous times I have actually taken it, but I've also noticed that at some point Barney disappears. So at this time I'm leaving the fat man where it is. Right, so we've only got one more gun to turn on. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you a special car, which I believe is to be uh, one of those killer cars. As you can see, a slightest touch on it, and it jumps up, jumps up in the air. I noticed it earlier, very briefly, when I ran past it, but uh, I thought I'd point it out to you. As long as there's anything in there we can ever use to determine them in the future, but, yeah. Right, so that is mission complete. Uh, all the guns have activated, and the mile oaks are dead. The car's been moved out of the way. All we've got to do now is go and see Barney and get the rifle. I could hear that sweet, sweet machine gun music all the way down here. You almost caught me and Reba mid-waltz. No problem, Barney. Glad to be of service. Well, Reba and I appreciate it. We won't soon forget you. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba too should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Bingo. I think I read that one once. Right, so that's mission complete. Um, we've got you for the equipment. Reba 2 is on the desk. Just left for me to say thanks for watching. I hope I've illuminated something in this video. There we go. And I shall see you all again soon. Bye for now.